program now for the news in summary. My name is Abu Kadabo. A charitable organization operating in the country has extended support to the Badra Congo Community Health Center. The donation of medical supplies is coming at a time when the health delivery system in the community is working towards strengthening the village health care services. Meanwhile, there is no letting up to the harvesting in Phoenix, Kansala. President continued that the President, His Excellency Sheikh Professor Al Haji Dr. Yahya Ejiji Jamis Farm in Kanilai on Saturday. A team in mass of volunteers from the Greater Banjul area joined the Kanilai women to kickstart a two day exercise that culminated in the piling of huge heaps of rice stalks in the middle of the farm. Officials of the University of the Gambia recently rolled out the latest batch of students who completed the two year master's program in business administration. The course is a two year e learning program project implemented by the University of the Gambia. At least a dozen participants drawn from FLAG, that is the Female Lawyers Association of the Gambia, have successfully completed six weeks training in Sharia law. The program funded by the British High Commission was meant to build the capacity of FLAG members on issues relating to Sharia law on women's rights. And in news from beyond our borders, Egyptian media reports most people have voted in favor of a new draft constitution, 56% to 43%. But it is only the first weekend of voting on the constitutional referendum. The rest of the country will vote next weekend. Election monitors report some claims of voter intimidation and early poll closing. The president of the ECOWAS Chiefs of Defense Staff, General Sumaila Bakayoko, has said that the proposed military intervention plan for Mali has been approved. The general was speaking at the, as the new interim prime minister names his list of cabinet ministers. The new team is composed of most members from the old cabinet of the deposed prime minister. A Nigerian Navy helicopter has crashed near Post Harcourt, killing six people. And in South Africa, prayer services are being held to pray for veteran President Nelson Mandela, who is receiving treatment at the hospital near Johannesburg. And the International Tribunal for the Law of the Sea has issued a landmark judgment calling on Ghana to release an Argentinian ship it has been holding for months now. In sports, the country's most popular football tournament, the Super Navitan, also known as the Zonals, has now reached the business end with both Bacau and Banyul booking their places in the semi-finals early yesterday evening. Uh, Bacau secured their places in the last four with a 7-6 to six dramatic post-match penalty shootout win over Manjaya at the Father Gulf Mini Stadium after a goalless 90 minutes in a colorful atmosphere created by the traveling Bacau fans. Elsewhere at the Sarakunda East Mini Stadium, Banjul defeated Sukuta 1-0 to join Bacau in the semis. Mokhtar Sukufa's 26-minute strike was enough to send the City Boys through. The remaining two semi-final spots will be decided on Tuesday. Seracunda East will host debutants and the surprise package Bruford, who are yet to taste defeat in the tournament, whilst Prikama will host the Barra, SL and Mayamba team at the Box Bar Mini Stadium. Both matches kick off simultaneously at 4.30 p.m., but for now, Bakau and Banjul will wait to find out their next opponents. That brings us to the end of the news in summary, also bringing us to the close down of transmission. Thanks for the pleasure of your company. And have a pleasant morning.